What's up, everyone, and welcome back to Movie Rays. Most people would say that actors have it easy. After all, they get to go into work and have their makeup done. They get a relatively large amount of money for just a few months of work. However, there are some downsides to the job that most people don't think about. Many actors have gotten hurt. Of course, this is a bigger risk when you're an actor who wants to do all of your own stunts like Tom Cruise. Some actors have nearly died on the set too. Let's look at a list of 10 actors who almost died on the set of movies. But before we get into that, don't forget to subscribe. Number 10. Michael J. Fox, Back to the Future 3 The Back to the Future series isn't known for its realism. The time-traveling car and flying skateboards ruined that. Yet, one scene of the trilogy was all too real for lead Michael J. Fox. Michael's hanging scene from the movie was absolutely brilliant. Perhaps a little too brilliant? How do you convincingly look like you're dying while being hung? You actually do it! In the series' final part, Marty McFly, who is played by Michael J. Fox, is captured by bandits and hung with a noose until the doc rescues him. If McFly's squirming looks genuine, it's because the actor really was being hung. He even passed out for half a minute before he was saved. Yes, you heard that right. Fox performed the scene a few times while standing on a box, but it just wasn't working. So, he did one take without it, but was off about the timing it would take to get through the scene. He passed out for 30 seconds, which was about the time it took for anyone else to notice that he was unconscious, according to his autobiography. On top of that, he even used the real hanging scene in the movie. Number 9. Jackie Chan and the Police Story An actor used to acrobatics like Jackie Chan must have risked his life at least once. Among the 10 actors who have almost died on set, he's the one that has come closer and more often, also for the continuous refusal of stuntmen. But during the filming of the police story, things got out of hands. If you've seen the movie, then you remember the huge mall fight at the end. While filming, Chan did all his stunts, which included the one where he jumps into a metal pole and slides down while many light bulbs explode around him. This stunt led to him cracking his 7th and 8th vertebrae, dislocating his pelvis and burning his hands thanks to the lights. The stunt was so dangerous partially because they used sugar glass, which is thicker than normal stunt glass. It almost cost him his own life. He took months to recover from the incident and then went back to performing the stunts again. Now that is some serious dedication. Number 8. Isla Fisher in Now You See Me One of the most death-defying stunts an actor did while shooting a film was when Isla Fisher got inside of a giant water-filled tank in the movie Now You See Me. In the movie, actress Isla Fisher was supposed to be pretending to be drowning in a tank of water. Well, it turns out pretending to be stuck and being stuck looks very similar. Most people didn't know that she was actually drowning. During the start of the movie, Fisher's character has to make a grand escape from being chained in a fish tank before piranhas are dumped on her. The actress, however, is no magician and got stuck. She said that her chain got stuck. She had to really swim to the bottom and she couldn't even get up. Everyone thought I was acting fabulously. I was actually drowning. No one realized I was actually struggling. Fisher told Daily Mail. She went to a quick release switch and got help from a nearby stuntman to break free. Number 7. Lord of the Rings On a set as huge as Lord of the Rings, no matter how safe and careful you are, you're always just buying yourself a little extra time until the next accident happens. And there sure were a lot of accidents on set. Most of the time there were nothing serious, but some were fatal enough to almost kill the actor. During the scene where Aragorn is floating down a river unconscious, the actor Viggo Mortensen was pulled into a rapid and flung past where all of the safety technicians were. The current forced him into a stone wall and held him underwater out of sight for several seconds until he luckily slipped out of the current pushing him. During a battle with an orc, 
There was supposed to be a scene where an actual blade was thrown into a tree. When it came time to throw the blade, the orc's throw was off-center and the knife went flying straight for Vigo's face. Vigo deflected the blade with a sword just before it struck him, narrowly, narrowly avoiding disaster once again. Number 6. Christian Bale This might be one of Christian Bale's most underrated performances. This did not happen on the set, but Bale almost got himself killed for the preparation for this movie. He had to drop a few pounds for the movie, well, maybe more than a few. Christian Bale supposedly holds the record for the most weight loss for a role in the history of cinema, a whopping 65 pounds or 30 kilograms. He said he wanted to lose more, but medical professionals warned him that he would likely die if he attempted it. Just how much did he weigh when filming started? A whole 110 pounds. He achieved this weight by dining on a single can of tuna and an apple every single day leading up to the beginning of the film's production. The stress of starving himself was so great that he actually took up smoking to help curb his appetite and calm himself down. If you're ever doing something that requires you to smoke to keep sane, you probably shouldn't be doing it. The effects of his weight loss were extremely apparent throughout filming as Christian Bale found himself incapable of running long distances for more than a minute or two at a time simply because his body had eaten away at his muscles. It is as scary as it sounds. Number 5. Stalker The movie Stalker is probably the weirdest one on this list. In this movie, nothing happens and at the same time, everything happens. Tragic thing is that everything on this movie was filmed on location at or near a chemical dumping site. In the movie, the area was titled The Zone and was considered an area where no human was meant to tread. In real life, it was a highly toxic area where no human was meant to tread. The effects of the radiation and poisoning of the land were extremely apparent throughout filming. During a scene where the stalker lies in a small stream, you can see iridescent colors streaking the water. This wasn't planned for the film. The colors in the water were caused by chemicals being dumped in by a nearby factory. Even more shocking was a scene where snow began to fall in what was clearly a summer location. Again, this were insanely hazardous chemicals falling out of the sky and anyone who came into contact with them became violently ill. Multiple people on set developed cancer and at least three died as a result. It's one of the most tragic incidents out there. Number 4. Thor The Dark World Asgardians are pretty hard to kill. Lady Sif is no different. She is a warrior in the movie. Yet, the Sif actress was defeated by the most humble of foes in the second Thor movie, which was a flight of stairs. After tripping over in heels, Jamie Alexander, who played the Lady Saf character, chipped 11 vertebrae, knocking out her left shoulder, slipped a spinal disc, and tore a rhomboid. Don't worry though, she was largely healed and back to filming within a month. In the next movies, they should build stair lifts between the nine realms. Number 3. Johnny Depp in The Lone Ranger The Lone Ranger already had to suffer being hated by audiences and critics. It wasn't the best performance of Johnny Depp. But imagine how much hate it would have received if it had been the cause of Johnny Depp's demise. During one horseback riding scene, Depp's saddle slipped. Johnny held onto the horse's mane before letting go and falling in front of the horse. Luckily, the horse's hooves just missed his head, meaning the world's hottest hipster received only minor wounds from the fall. Had the horse stepped on his face, it could have squashed his brains. Obviously, Depp survived, and the only thing the film did any permanent damage to was his career. Number 2. Jason Statham in The Expendables 3 You'd feel pretty safe hanging out with the Terminator, Rambo, and the Old Spice Power Guy, wouldn't you? When these guys are together, the biggest fear might be that the continent they're on could run out of protein. Jokes apart, The Expendables series was one of the best action movie series in its time. While driving a truck, the brakes gave out and the actor drove off a cliff into the Black Sea. 
The transporter's driving may have let him down, but fortunately, his expert-level diving skills helped him escape the wreckage and swim to shore. Number 1. Aaron Paul in Breaking Bad Did you know Jesse Pinkman was supposed to be killed off in the first season of Breaking Bad? The idea was ditched early on because, you know, Jesse's awesome. If you haven't seen Breaking Bad, we urge you to watch it. But the writers may never have had the chance to save Jesse if Aaron Paul wasn't a perfectionist. In episode 6 of the first season, Paul asked to change the position where he was standing. This was very lucky because a boulder fell down off the roof of an RV and landed exactly where Aaron had been during the filming of the scene. This is our list of 10 actors who almost died on set. Which one would you be most sad about had it happened? Let us know in the comments, and if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.